Hi everyone, it's Destroyer here with a video on sentry tower boosts. In the latest update of This Means War, which came out two weeks ago, we've been able to boost our sentry towers. And you do need a command center level 9 to do this. So this is what it looks like when it's boosted. I do have a maxed out base, so level 10 is the highest sentry tower. First, let's check out the stats on a non-boosted sentry tower. The health is 30,000 and it does 200 damage per shot. The attack range is 14. So let's uh, boost this which costs 350,000 red mercury and that will last for 8 hours. If you hold your finger down on the boost button it shows you that it does fire fast and sprays wide. So when I let that go of my finger there you can see the graphics has changed. There's a, a red glow around that. The stats shows you that the health is now 45,000 which is a 50% increase. Damage per shot still 200. However the attack range has increased from 14 to 18 which is very significant. I did try and find some bases to attack to show you these capabilities. However at my metal count I didn't manage to find any command center level 9s that had uh, boosted sentry towers. So I went ahead and boosted all of mine and waited for someone to attack me. I have a couple of attacks to show you from earlier on. My first defense is against Sparky Boy who used 13 copters, 5 hunter drones and his command center troops. This is the composition I used to use before the update and it was very effective against a maxed out base like my own. The first thing he's doing is deploying some copters to take down those buildings at the front. Not only is that an easy 5%, it also helps uh, preventing the drones from getting distracted on those. All of my bunker troops have pushed forward to his base. He does have the uh, boosted sentry towers as well. And you'll see that they uh, quickly take down all of my troops with the help of his ambush. They have very long range, it's hard to take down those buildings at the front. He pushed in with some hunter drones followed by all of his copters. And you can see that those sentry towers have such a long reach that the uh, drones are dropping like flies. Now it's time for the copters to take the damage. If these weren't boosted there would uh, be very little trouble for these troops to stay alive this long. However they get wiped out very quickly. I have the two rocket batteries at the front on that side as well as two sentry towers which are both boosted. So it is very difficult for these low hit point troops to take down those sentry towers. So he's had several waves down that side so far and they've all been wiped out. So currently he is falling behind 13% versus 21. You've seen that I've managed to take down all of his buildings at the front. However, they keep getting wiped out by those three boosted sentry towers. Even the vehicles are taking quite a beating as well. So here comes another wave. So they're just coming in within range of those uh, sentry towers again. And just like before, they're getting taken down very, very quickly. So he's being very persistent trying to take these down. He is uh, slowly cutting into my defenses there. So he's dropped his command center troops which are all tanks. And even those are taking quite a beating here. The tanks are distracting the sentry towers. However they do have low health. Once they start getting killed off they uh, then switch on to the hunter drones. So once again they are getting uh, taken down very quickly again. And now my bunker troops have come out. He's almost caught up percentage wise. And that's another wave gone. Time is uh, definitely not on his side now. 21% versus 29%. I'm still uh, help trying to clear out his sentry towers at the front with my bunker troops. They're just about the only thing surviving around that area. So it seems that the uh, sentry towers are very good to have at the front. Another swarm of drones coming in. Still persistent down that left hand side which is good. The uh, sentry towers are exposed now. He's taken one down. However the sentry towers on the right hand side are also in range now because they have 18 square reach. 
very good range there. So it's very important to stick to one side. He has managed to clear out uh, two of those sentry towers. If I did have that third one boosted in the middle, he definitely would have uh, lost this attack. So previously, he probably would have been around 90 to 100% by now, where he only just reached the one star. And because I was about to hit one star as well, he quickly aborted and uh, managed to win the attack. So as you can see, it's a big struggle against the uh, boosted sentry towers using hunter drones and copters. Let's check out the second defensive replay now by GKHN. He's using four hijackers, four cyclops heavy tanks, five rocket buggies and three hunter drones. He did not use his command center troops. This is actually a popular troop composition now. The uh, Cyclops heavy tanks really help out a lot against boosted sentry towers. He's starting off very heavy down that right hand line. He's dropped all of his troops there. There are some hijackers coming out from my bunkers and they are hijacking some of his buggies. But he does have his own hijackers and he's reclaiming them back. Dropping all these trips down first does save on, save on time, but you do need a very strong composition, which he does have. The Cyclops heavy tanks are doing a lot of damage from the back. And he's slowly pushing that line back. So you do need to get those Cyclops heavy tanks within range of those boosted sentry towers first. Once those sentry towers are distracted, it's quite safe to start dropping your hunter drones and the rocket buggies. Drones still need to worry about those rocket batteries, however they're not a bigger threat compared to these boosted sentry towers. So it's a good tactic to take down these rocket batteries first, while the sentry towers are distracted on the Cyclops heavy tanks. He's done a good job of that so far and taken one of them down. One of the sentry towers has almost been taken down by the uh, heavy tanks. So as his troops die off he keeps dropping them down. One thing to note is these boosted sentry towers do have a spread on them, so it's uh, very important to keep your rocket buggies away from the line of fire and to keep your um, Cyclops heavy tanks to the far right and then use your buggies on the left or right hand side of them. It is hard to push the line back here with grunts. If they get anywhere near those boosted sentry towers, they'll get eaten alive. In the previous attack I just showed you with the hunter drones and the copters, he had to send wave after wave to destroy my defences. However with this composition he's managed to hold the line back the entire time. Now those Cyclops heavy tanks are the key to this attack. They are very good uh, bullet sponges. He's managed to take down one of the, the uh, sentry towers so far and he's working on the second one right now. This is a farming layout so I do have a lot of traps and ambush at the back. The other sentry tower has been taken down, however the one in the middle is still within range so it is quite difficult at this stage. Usually I would switch to the other side and start taking down the bunkers, however the uh, sentry towers over there would be quite a difficulty. So now it seems to be the best idea to stick to one side and work your way around. Didn't have any command center troops here, so it was an advantage to him. But he has reached one star so far and he's done a very good job of defending with only 29% damage by my troops. Really need to move those uh, Cyclops heavy tanks closer to those sentry towers. And it would have been a better idea to move the uh, rocket buggies closer to that command center. So you need to keep the Cyclops heavy tanks uh, distracting the sentry towers while your other troops take down the buildings. You don't want them both in the same area because of the uh, spread on the sentry towers. It's currently on 59% versus 31% which is pretty good. He got his one star, however he just fell short of getting the two stars. If he could get three stars on this it would be uh, quite impressive. 
So this is what you can expect from the top 100 where everybody is a command center level 9 and more than likely has a maxed out base. So that's how you uh, take on the sentry towers when they're boosted. If they're not boosted you can just stick to the usual um, hunter drones and the copters. So with a maxed out base this is typically what you're going to find at the uh, top of the leaderboard, say the top 100 which is maybe 3500 medals and above. I'm still 1400 medals but I am climbing my way back up now. My plan is to use the grunts and hackers to at least 3000 then probably switch over to the hunter drones and the copters. That might get me to about 3500. Since that's around the top 100 I more than likely see a lot of boosted sentry towers so I'll be switching my troop composition then for sure. So stay tuned for some replays in the future. See you guys.